Hello again everyone, Snack here and hope you're having a wonderful day and uh, in this video we'll be checking out a game that will send us deep in an open world life sim and a town a building game set in a cozy post-apocalyptic paradise where we could restore an old town and sail across a mysterious archipelago. We'd also hunt for relics and farm, fish, and craft everything we need. We could also help turn Critter Cove in a thriving tourist town once again. Yep, as the name suggests, welcome to Critter Cove. Oh, I'm kinda excited to check out this game if you check in Steam. It has an overwhelmingly positive review, which only few games in early access could achieve. So let's dive into it. And before anything else, guys, thank you so much again for being here. And uh, if you're new, feel free to like and subscribe as that would really mean a lot to me as well. All right, let's do it. And hey, would you look at this, you guys? We have tons of character customization to play around with. So we have here the uh, the head. We could be a human or a humanoid, a cat. Oh, this is so adorable. An octopus. Oh, that's scary. And a dragon. And also a teddy bear. Uh -huh. Well, go ahead with a human, of course. I don't want to make things complicated for me. And uh, let's see. We have these eyes here. Nice. I am fine with this, I think. Let's let's check out the other eyes nah uh, well, well i'm go ahead with this one. Oh, we also have some uh facial marks all right that's cool and uh we have some we have an earring and also an elven ear wow a dragon e ear and uh a mouse ears i you know what i just saw the randomized button uh but we'll check out the other uh tabs we have the hair aha uh -huh. look at that you guys it's fun we also have the facial hairs look at this we also have some horns oh this is so cool we have the uh buddy type all right that's so cool man we could also change the hand oh this is new and the feet as well look at that so we could adjust our body shape and height and finally a tail haha -ha. everyone loves tails right how could we okay there you go we have dragon tail oh this looks so cool we have eight oh we have wings as well all right let's just do randomize and let's see what we'll get um this one's cool but uh nope nada all right Boink. hey what up oh this one looks neat i said i want to be human because i don't want to complicate things because i I'm, I'm lazy at customizing characters really but now that the system has a uh, randomized this awesome character for us look at this and everything just fits in so let's go ahead with uh, this okay and our name is snap my pronoun is he and him all right here we go you guys i couldn't wait for us to explore this post apocalyptic paradise and we are here we just rode a boat straight to this rundown island the whole island looks like it's it went into a storm oh and it oh geez and the the, the boat just blew up and it drowned <laughs> shiver me timbers what an amazing and exciting journey that was we'll be lucky to make it here in one piece judging by me ship sitting at the bottom of the harbor nah a moment too soon either I'm guessing the sea be having to wait another day to proclaim all anchor why don't you go speak with that fella that hired us renard be his name i'll be making sure the port office be in order all right oh what happened out there you don't remember the robot kraken the fleet of ghost pirates saving us from a raging ripple okay truly you be a master sailor the likes old anchor has never seen you must have smacked your head harder than i thought you forget all that i'd be lucky to have you watching me dorsal fin out there if in it weren't for yeah never you mind we be here now so i guess none of that matters anymore you should focus on the job at hand Bernard be waiting for you and sure and sure he'll probably have more for you to do just be watching your back around him here you hear Renard be a sneaky one he is okay up arrow to open the journal where we could track our quests and then uh, there's a map and if we're stuck on the map press this one okay and when we have the right tools use the map to track resources and creators all right awesome aha look at this you guys man this looks beautiful look at the ocean and this is where we're gonna spending our our day for a long time all right let's go ahead and look for renard looks like we have there uh i think that is a uh lighthouse and we have here oh this is oh it's anchor uh no i need to look for renard goodbye all right now we are in the town and it looks like uh indeed 
I can see that it has it had its glory days. Unfortunately, the town looks so abandoned and everything just in ruins. Look at that. But oh, hey, hey, little guy, how you doing? Oh, Renard is here. Ah, I so I see you finally arrived. So glad to finally meet you. I can't wait to get started on rebuilding Crater Cove. I'm Renard, mastermind behind this little venture. I also run the local junk and a gift shop. If you need anything, just stop by and check out my wear. You probably already noticed that the town is in a less than ideal state. It'll be your job to fix it up all nice like. Make a real destination. And perhaps we make a little coin along the way. But first things first, we need to get your living arrangement sorted. Can't have you sleeping on a beach now, can we? It'll be undignified. Unfortunately, Renard, or fortunately, Renard has you covered. Take this mostly official Critter Cove house deed and pin it on the door of any of these vac vacant you see. Don't matter which your choice. Oh, we could choose a house? Wow, we're gonna go house hunting, you guys. Once that's all done, nice and legal alike, you'll need to fix it up. But that shouldn't be an issue for someone as resourceful as yourself. And oh, by the way, there are a couple of other folks who arrived just before you. Might be a good idea to stop in and say hi, since you'll already be out looking for a house anyways. They each took a living on the beach, one on the west, and the other on the east. The island isn't that big. You should have no troubles finding them. I'll come by and talk to you again once you've gotten your house set up. There's much to be done. All right. Oh, we could get to choose a house. Oh, all right. Uh, first things first. There's a lot of options we could choose, right? Any house will do, but uh, I need to choose the best house. I want to have the best view and the one that is easily accessible in every direction. But first, let's see what. What is this? Local news. Critter Cove is now almost rat free, says local harbor master. Rats were a serious problem in the past, but thanks to a passing cheese uh, barge, they have also almost entirely left the area. Renard was an unavailable for comment. Yeah, Renard is a rat. <laughs> That's funny. And now open. Renard's is the perfect one stop shop for all your shopping needs. Need important salvage? Looking to lighten your packs? Renard has you covered. Stop by today and experience the discount products and quality uh, prices. And by all, it's implied that only some of your shopping needs will be covered. Okay, um, I want to look for a, a, a vintage point, a higher ground. Uh, let's see. I want to I want to be in the best house that I could be. Oh, actually, this is Renard's shop. We have a house here. It's kind of it's uh, near Renard's place. Also, we have a house here. All right. We also have a house just behind Renard's store. Okay, I think we found a higher ground, you guys, and this could have been a, the best place we could set up our house, but it's not available for lodging. We could have enjoyed this uh, beautiful view right here upon waking up. But anyway, oh, there's also houses here by the beach. Let's see if these are available for housing. Nope, nada. Hey, we have someone here. Hey, um, Pokey. What? Don't you know it's rude to butt your nose into someone else's business? Who are you, anyways? Um, so sorry about that. My name's Nap. Oh, that new sailor man. You're not what I expected. I always heard sailors were supposed to be tough and capable looking. I'm Pokey, by the way, and you're just about the only adult on this whole island. Now, please, uh, don't <laughs> let me keep you from a busy day of picking up every random piece of trash you see. Goodbye. Good day, Snap. All right. What a wonderful person, Pokey. Okay, let's also check out that lighthouse. Maybe we could set up our a house there. Otherwise, we're going to go in the central plaza where Bernard's shop is set up. I think that would be the most ideal place to, to, uh, to build our house. We also have a house here that we could uh, take. Now about this one. Oh, this one looks good. Look at this, you guys. Ah, oh, this is awesome. Oh, we have someone here running around. Oh, that's Pokey. All right, look at this. Oh, let's read. No one is assigned to work. Oh, we could actually assign people, huh? Uh -huh, that's awesome. All right. Oh, it's totally broken. Oh, let's see. We also have another cool place. You know what, guys? Uh, this place reminds me when I was a kid, when we were used to play in an abandoned, uh, uh, some kind of a junkyard. And there's a lot of uh, abandoned cars. 
just like this and we need we we used to play housing in there yeah it, it was kind of dangerous because there were a lot of uh rust but uh praise the lord jesus christ none of us really got injured seriously it was fun anyway uh now i have decided uh the best house is actually okay i'm torn between two houses this place here or here um okay i'll, I'll just go ahead with you know what i like this place is just behind this house there's a huge place it's like a backyard maybe we could cook some barbecue something like that all right we'll go ahead and take this place aha uh -huh. all right you guys we now have ourselves home fix my house i found a perfect spot for my new home but it's going to need a little work before it's ready for me to move in okay we need uh eight sticks and five stones okay so at the right and corner we need to collect and deliver required resources of the nation bank the, the stones and the sticks so let's look for them sticks should be uh, around uh, near the trees right let's see oh we don't have an axe yet we need a shovel i think we have a problem you guys i'm not sure if we could collect stones and sticks without using any tools we don't have any tools at all all right at least we got ourselves on tin cans let's just collect all of them for now oh so we got a blueprint from tin cans let's see and hey you guys check it out we also have a heart meter to track the friendship level we have with everyone in this beautiful rundown island that we get to fix i can't wait for it all right uh let's go ahead and meet sammy first i think he is at the west side of town or of this island let's go ahead could we uh, swim oh cool we can actually swim can we dive wait let's see what's under oh there's a lot of things we could collect under right look at that i don't know how to dive though or swim i mean dive down can we do that oh yeah i used my mouse and then we're diving in ah this is so cool you guys and look at this i hear fishes or these are squids yep squids and hello there looks like this guy is friendly hmm oh hello you're new? I'm Sammy. I'm pretty new here too. Hey, my name's Snap. You have no idea how much how nice it is to meet you, Snap. I was starting to think that I had gotten tricked into moving here. The brochure said a tro tropical paradise awaits. It didn't say anything about living in a ratty tent on a beach. I thought I'd be stuck on, on this beach forever, but you like you look like someone who's got it all figured out. Maybe we'll finally start seeing some progress, you know? I'm really glad to meet you. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. All right. Yep, I have everything figured out except that I don't have... Oh, we could pick up this. Okay. I think we found a stick. Except that I don't have any uh, uh, tools to, to, to collect. Oh, there's more stick here. Okay, not bad. All right. How about stone? Oh, okay. All along, we have the stones here. We could pick up. No need to get some tools, right? Oh, wait, hold on. What's this guy doing here? Hey, sir. Are you... Uh, hold on. We could talk to him. Copper button. Hmm. <laughs> this guy i thought he's not an npc but he is uh, he's, he's a robot though but you know he counts as a one right is we've met a new friend let's see yep there he is at the left side that's fun and we have one more wood how many woods do we have now we need two more uh, wood and two more stone okay one more of each look at this you guys hey look at this we have a flying dragonfish oh this is so cool we also have some squids here see we have a lot of squids did we catch him all right i think we have five wood and five uh stones all right we are set for success let's head straight home and this should go straight in our donation box oh we need uh two more wood all right two more woods that's fine that's one and this is the second wood and completed awesome oh it's being built wonderful hey looks like we've chose the perfect house it has a bell on it oh geez looks like we have renards so happy look at that i see you finally figured out your living situation capital this is a very fine home but they never come well furnished hmm, i've got it you need a house warming gift free of charge of course Let's call it a down payment on future services rendered. Now, let me see. Uh, here you go. Just the thing to make a house feel more homey. Capital. Oh, we got ourselves a basic chair. Now, let me see. Oh, yep. What do I do with this? You place it in your house, of course. This is your space. And you can decorate it well, who, however you like. Oh, all new homes also seem to come with two basic trunks. They're very handy for storing every extra things. And by some quirk of nature that I'm not qualified to explain, their contents seems to be connected together. If you put an item in one container, you'll be able to access it from any container you own. 
science, magic, just another of life's unexplained mystery. It's called quality of life, you guys, in games. This is nice because you don't have to manually open each box. You just have to open one box and you get to access all the things that you've stored. But it's incredibly useful. You can move one or both of these trunks to any place that's convenient. I suggest moving one to the workshop area. Well, I should be going. My store isn't going to mind itself. But before I take my leave, here's a pamphlet that go that that goes over the basics of decoration i'm sure you'll have a fine look looking home in one in no time snap a creative person such as yourself always does i think so our head can't wait let's check out our house and we are in aha uh -huh, look at this we have our nice makeshift bed a small side cabinet and some chest i want to pick it up nope no i want to pick it up hold a all right there you go and now let's place the table or the ch uh, the the chair we could zoom in zoom out rotate here and there all right look at this wow we got our own little space that we could decorate Great. but i really wanted to clean up at least in front of our house so hey renard what do you have for us a snack so good to see so good of you to stop by we've much to do and it never seems like there are enough hours in the day we need to start fixing up this town but first i need you to find our missing handy bot yeah i found him copper button he probably went down to the beach and got himself wet again they always tell him to avoid the water see but he just can't help himself. Fortunately, he comes equipped with a tracker beacon, so finding him shouldn't be any trouble. Let me just add you to the permission. You'll now be able to track his whereabouts on your map. You're going to need this oil can when you find him. Just give him a squirt or two of that and he'll be 100% again. Oh no, and do me a huge favor and give him a hand when you get him unstuck. Is way behind on getting the workshop fixed. Now off you go. No do dolling mind ya. The sooner you find Copper Bot, the sooner we'll have the functional workshop. Alright, good thing I found him along the way when I was looking for some wood and stones. He's just here. But let's see. Let's see how the map works. Oh yeah, there you go. Copper Bot is just here. And there he is, you guys. He's just waiting. Hey Copper Bot, hope you're doing well. Alright, you guys, if you've noticed where we came back from our own or to where we came from this because i actually paused the game because my little girl i her out um and then i need to tend to her and uh i thought i paused the game oh look at that those are wow those are like bird dragon baby dragons <laughs> so i thought i paused the game but I, I did it like this i thought it's gonna pause it but if you see it uh, at the background it's blurred the waves are moving that means it's not paused so i left the game running the whole day until it was nighttime and if you notice my eyes it's drowsy so there's actually a mechanic in the game that will you know if you're not sleeping enough in game then you'll get tired and someone just reminded me an end game npc to get some good rest which is great because you know it's a good thing to be reminded to give to get a rest every once in a while oh, oh well and i was taught i uh, was told to uh make a campfire to eat something also because i got hungry but i don't know how but we'll see we'll check it out in the, in the tutorial if there's any so let's talk now to copper bottom because we need to use the oil can to have him uh working again there you go aha oops there you go and one last seems and he is good to go all right hey i'm snap all right and it seems he's given us a blueprint a wrench nice that's awesome all right copper button have a wonderful day ahead sir and we've got a basic wrench a recipe or a blueprint so we have uh wood and uh some uh, metals if you look at the left side and we are crafting we don't need a crafting station to craft it that's awesome hey looks like we have anchor here and we got the wrench if you look at the left hey anchor is saying hi hello ah uh, he be just a lad i was hoping to run into Oli anchor has been doing some thinking with his Oli shark brain and uh, realized that you're not much of a sea captain if he ain't got a ship fortunately you can say they, me fins have built their fair share uh, of ships in me time i'd be more pleased or more than pleased to volunteer me ship right rating or writing i don't know rating services to ye but me old cartilage ain't what it used to be and i can't do trekking all over this island looking for parts but be your responsibility in order for anchor to build a fine craft that won't sink 
when the weather gets rough, you're going to need three things. Well known fact, the number one cause of uh, ships sinking be water gonna get in. So the first thing you'll need B is seaworthy hull. It will also, it keeps air boots dry. You'll also be needing some sort of an engine to make the ship. Okay, an engine. And finally, we're gonna get a lantern post of some sort so we have some sort of a light. All right. Oh, sure. Sure, Mr. Anchor. I'm gonna find them. Awesome. Okay, we, oh, we could dis dismantle this. Oh, because we have a wrench. Nice. Okay, so we need to keep holding A to dismantle things. But now I need something to eat because it seems that I am hungry. Anyway, uh, we now need to talk to Copper Bottom. And here he is. Oh, this is the workshop. Nice. So this unit is experiencing difficulty. Someone uh, has tasked this, these wooden barricades against the workshop in the most logical fashion. This unit is unstable to effect repairs on the workshop until these barricades have been removed. Okay, perhaps meat person snack <laughs> could assist this unit in a removal of these obstacles. Meat persons have soft, squishy hands that are all suited for chopping hard wooden structures. If you attempt to chop wood with fleshy hands, they'll be probably fall off. This unit will supply snack with knowledge on how to form an artificial chopping limb. Use this chopping. Okay. All right. Cool. Nice. Warning mode activated. Use the tool responsibly and do not fall under the temptation to chop your fellow citizens. This will avoid you their warranty. Okay. Um. All right. Let's get a... Looks like we have some crafting and cleaning up to do. Let's do that. So we need uh, more uh, metals. Let's just clean up these metals first. I have a pretty much uh, idea. I have a good idea that we'll you know, be needing as much metal as we can for us to craft more tools. It looks like we've cleaned all the metals. Now let's... Oh, how about here? Oh, these are uh, glasses and some... Oh, yeah. Okay. Now it's, ti it's time to craft some basic apps. Aha. And there we have it. How could we uh, shift tools? Okay. Just the arrow button. Okay. Now let's go ahead and uh, chop these woods or barricades. Chop there. One here. All right. It seems that uh, we've completely chopped all the barricades. So we need more resources in order to finish the construction. Okay. Oh, it seems that some of the resources are located under the water. Unless you run out of air, then you will expire. <laughs> it's a nice way of saying that we'll die if we drown. Oh, this is pretty cool. We, we can actually have a tool to scan the area for resources. That would be very helpful, you guys. All right, that's fun. All right, this is what we're going to do, you guys. We're going to have to gather uh, 10 wood and uh, 10 more metals. I think I have a lot of metal here with me. Yep, we have 20 metal. We just need like six more woods, it seems. And I know the the place where we could get them. There you go. Oh, geez. The ocean has a lot of debris. Yes, my dude. What you doing, man? You were very rude to me earlier. Uh, hey, Snap. You're just one. You're just, you're just who I was hoping to run into. I found something unusual in the beach and immediately thought of you. It's a bottle and I'm pretty sure that it's not something inside it, of it. I guess something inside of it. And there is no way I'm touching that thing. Who knows where it's been? <laughs> You're always scrounging around, touching everything with your dirty little hands. So I figured an old, grimy bottle laying on the beach would be right for your up your alley. Follow me and I'll show you right where it is and don't lollygag. I have better things to do with my day and then wait for you. Like, whatever. Okay, 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 my dude. Let's get this stuff along the way. Yeah, I just need some wood. There you go. Oh, it seems that we have some berries here. Ah, we could gather a few berries. Haha. <laughs> I think, I think we could use them. We could set a campfire and eat the berries. All right. Oh, we have a treasure map. Wow, that is a genuine treasure map. I bet if you follow it, you'll find something cool. That's how treasure maps work, you know. You just find where the egg marks the spot and a dig. Super simple. Like, so simple. Even you can do it. You're going to need something to dig with, though. Don't look at me. Do I look like I made I made of shovels or something? Uh, go try anchor. Uh, there's probably no one in the whole island who's dug up more uh, treasures than that old shark. I bet he's uh, got a trunk full of shovels you can use. Well, I did my job, uh, my good deed for the day. Time for me to leave you to your rooting around in the dirt. Later, jumpers. Okay, he's so uptight. He's a good person, I can see, but I think he's just he's, uh, very uptight. And uh, while well, the other hand, the other islander, 
uh, the, the the cat is just relaxed and laid back so yep okay we need first to oh I, I will try something else you guys let me try and set up a uh, campfire all right we have ourselves a campfire let me see if we could all right you can set up here awesome add fuel oh oh no um oh we could we could use these uh trash okay to add fuel and then uh start cooking we have these uh blush strawberries that we could cook okay i think it's cooking now what is going on you guys oh we have a jam nice nice aha more coming because we need to eat because i think we're kind of hungry as well and for our last uh, berry jam because if you look at the uh, right side we are out of stamina so we need to use the bed and also we need to eat because i haven't really eaten uh since we've started and let's see if, how, how could we oh hold on we have this cap right here oh yeah uh -huh. nice but i i don't like it i like more my hair oh yeah there you go he is eating that's yummy now we need to uh speak with uh anchor to get that uh shovel and it looks like we have news here just checking checking it uh see if you were paying any attention to me when i told you check the boy okay okay anchor <laughs> That was fun. Oh, could I actually open the door? And nice. This is cool. Oh, hi there, Captain. What can I do? Yep, uh, I found a treasure map. I uh, need a shovel. All right. Looks like we have we got ourselves a recipe for a basic shovel. And let's see. Uh, we need... Uh, and we already have the materials at the left side. Craft, craft, craft. And there you go. All right. Now, time to head to that uh, treasure. Can't wait. So let's look for that treasure if it's in our map. Okay, let's see uh, where that map is. Hold on. I can didn't find the map all right there you go okay looks like it's at the uh north east just here all right let's uh go straight north east oh i forgot we need to pick up our campfire and it seems that uh we just need to follow this uh, uh seashore and we should pass by the the treasure and looks like it's raining raining right now oh i think this is the treasure here let's see okay uh we could dig here all right oh there you go you guys aha we've uh, res ah okay the treasure is a cooking station not bad that's the best uh, treasure that we could ever find the basics we could cook a lot of food i think and also let's just oh hold on what happened here learn okay ah what's going on here Ah, looks like this mouse is cooking something. Ah, all right. Uh, we've learned uh, furniture. What? Okay, never mind. Okay, we could also dig stones, right? So it seems that it's 3 p.m. It's still early. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's check our journal. So we're out of stamina. If you see here, uh, we need to grill something yummy. But we don't have any meat. I don't, I don't know how to hunt yet. We'll have to wait for that. And uh, also we need to get some rest. And uh, uh, let's see. Okay, uh, let's check out this resource finder. So we need to look for blueprints located in an old sunken workshop off the east coast of Peter Cove. Let's see. So it's here east oh it's actually here number one if you look at the upper right hand corner okay let's let's uh work on that and if you look at the upper right hand corner there's a compass and uh whatever um task you've activated it will show the line or an arrow going to it i just uh, discovered it so uh it's really convenient uh it seems that we need to uh dive oh there it is they think this is the sunken workshop so let's see uh, if we can find something. Dismantle, learn how to craft. Okay, we got some metals. Uh, I don't really know what we need. Okay, we need to go up. We need to go up. I forgot. If you look at the upper left-hand corner, um, there is a, a, a... There we go. The timer. Time to head down. Is there something under? Nope, nothing. And I think... Uh, okay, let's just dismant dismantle stuff. Okay, there you go. We got... Oh, we got a research grill blueprint. Okay. Uh, and then I think we're gonna die. Nope. Ah, oh, oh geez. Oh, we're losing health. Okay, we're losing health. That's fine. There should be uh something that will make us hold our breath a little uh longer, right? There should be. All right, let's. I I don't know what to find. Really, I just go ahead and keep on this monthly. Okay, we need to learn this, and we've learned the resource finder. Haha, <laughs> awesome. And look at that. That it seems our stamina is so low. I'm not sure if we could keep this up. So we'll just head straight. Uh and to to land and uh let's see what we could what we need to craft this resource finder and uh oh what the what is this a quartz okay give to museum we need a quartz you guys uh maybe we can dig a quartz uh let's see this one looks like a quartz and yep it is now we can craft a resource finder and three two one there you go uh -huh. okay let's see if we could 
Nope, nope. Oh, now we can scan the area. Okay. Second, what? Ready in 11 seconds. Okay, that's fine. It's good to have uh, to have a uh, cooldown for these kind of stuff. Otherwise, it's going to be very over OP. It looks like our stamina is very low. We might need to rest. Okay, let's use again the resource finder. Did it do anything? How will I know? Anyway. Wow, this game is really cool. I can see why it has an overwhelmingly positive even though it's still in early access, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, guys, uh, you could go ahead and check out this game. We could wish wishlist, and I highly recommend you get this game and try it for yourself. And well, for more videos, you can look at the upper or the lower part of the screen. And again, uh, thank you so much for hanging out. And if you're new, feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, may we always walk with patience and kindness because that's what love is. See you on the next video. And by the way, I'm thinking of doing live streams. So this is one that I wanted to to uh, go on live so stay tuned for it see ya